What's up guys, I'm BTC. Over on the PTR, McCree's ultimate got a buff, but the question is, does it actually change anything? Are the inherent problems with his ultimate still there? I believe the McCree changes were added after the initial patch update that brought us the Symmetra rework, the buffs for Orisa, Doomfist, and of course the Looking for Group and Endorsement system. So when I saw the McCree had gotten a buff, I just really hadn't gotten around to making a video, but a bunch of you guys kept requesting it, so here we are. So quickly, what is the buff? McCree's Deadeye range increased from 70 meters to 200 meters. That is a massive, massive increase in the distance. Developer comments say, while McCree's Deadeye rarely came into play at 70 meters, we are increasing the range so it cannot be a limiting factor during normal gameplay. So here you have Blizzard admitting that it almost never comes up where you have to go beyond 70 meters, but just in case they decided to increase it to 200 meters. Now to give you an idea, 200 meters is pretty much more than you will ever need in almost any map. Most of the maps, whenever you're going to use this, it's going to be anywhere between 30 to 50 at most. So 200 is just kind of ridiculous. Now the question is, as I posed at the beginning of the video, does this actually change anything? The answer is no. No, it's not. There are almost no situations when you're going to need this range increase. But more than that, McCree's ultimate is not used to get eliminations. I understand that lower bracket players tend to use it as a big, you know, play the game kind of ultimate, and it does happen in the upper brackets as well, but for the most part, higher rank, higher skill McCree players, particularly those you see in the Overwatch League, do not use McCree's ultimate to get eliminations. And that sounds kind of absurd. You have a really high DPS character with a damaging kind of instant elimination ultimate, but the high skill, high rank players are not using it for that. So what then are the high skill McCree players using his ultimate for? Well, it's pretty much two things. The first is zoning, which is forcing the enemy away from an area. This is going to be good for like a control point or a payload or something like that. And the funny thing about it is the McCree ult is so absurdly easy to avoid, it actually makes a pretty good zoning tool, because you just fire it up and the enemy team has to scatter and hide behind walls. That is, if they don't instantly obliterate you. So you can force them out of an area, but the McCree isn't actually getting eliminations with it. It's just about area control for at least a very short amount of time. The other thing that those high skill McCree players will use the ultimate for is reloading. Yes, that's it, just reloading. They'll fire off all their regular ammo, they roll to get the reload, then they fire off that, then they activate their ultimate, instantly cancel it so that they get the free reload. That's it. If you watch the Overwatch League and you see some of those super high skill McCree players, watch what they do with their ultimate. They're using it just to reload. Like that's how bad the ultimate is. Like it's not even worth using. They just want the extra ammo. It's simply absurd that an ultimate can be so bad that the most beneficial part of it is the fact that you just get a free reload. Like the damage doesn't matter. The zoning for the most part doesn't matter. Those McCree players, they just want the ammo back and that's it. That's a complete and total waste of an ultimate. So then how do you fix this ultimate and make it actually worth using for its intended purpose? I've given quite a bit of thought to this and I've come up with a bunch of different possible solutions, but honestly, I don't really like any of them. I think it's really difficult to keep the ultimate as it is and still have it be effective. So the first thing that I thought up was, well, maybe you can slow down everybody that's in the area. Whenever McCree fires up his ult, anyone that's caught in it, anyone that's being targeted, gets like a 20% slow or something like that. Or you could have it so that they're actually locked in place because it's supposed to be a duel and you don't like run around when you're dueling. So I thought maybe that could be it, but I think that would be really problematic because people already complain quite a bit about the existing crowd control in the game, and if you were to add something like that, then the whining would just be endless. Other options would be to ramp up the damage increase, 
But at that point, you're getting into the almost insta-kill territory, and again, I don't really think that's a good idea. Other things would be, well, maybe it has like a fixed amount, where you fire off the ability, you don't need to charge it or anything, it just automatically deals a certain amount of damage to everyone that's in front of you. It wouldn't be full damage, it would probably be somewhere in the range of 40 to 60% of their total health so it doesn't matter what you end up hitting it just boom all of a sudden takes away 60% of their total health for people that are near critical health they would get instantly taken out for everyone else they would just take a decent amount of damage so then I thought well what about changing the ultimate so it keeps the kind of dueling aspect of it but it doesn't work quite the same way and the first thing I came up with was kind of like the opposite of what Soldier 76 has. So when he activates his ult, all of his attack goes instantly towards the target. Like, you don't have to aim. However, none of them can be criticals. They're all body hits. So what if McCree had the opposite? Every single hit you land is a critical no matter what, but you have to aim it yourself. There's no auto-aim function whatsoever. The problem with that is it doesn't really fall in line with all the other ultimates. If you look at any ultimate in the game, there's really no aiming required. The closest thing is probably like Bastion, but the thing is, his attacks during his ultimate have a gigantic area of effect, so even if you kind of miss, you still do a lot of damage. But look at the other ones like Pharah, or Reaper, or Doomfist, anyone really, it doesn't matter, May. Reinhardt. You don't have to aim really accurately, you just kind of hit a giant area of effect. You certainly could argue that Widowmaker's ultimate requires aim to hit the targets, but that's not what the ult does. The ult doesn't require you to aim to see them through the walls, it simply makes you see through the walls. I'm really not sure if there's a way to make his ultimate effective without making it too overpowered or frustrating to go against. The other idea that I came up with was something that I kind of mentioned in a previous video, which would be like a bounty ultimate. Kind of basically like giving the entire enemy team a discord orb is basically what it would do. Like McCree would fire up his ult and for the next 6-8 seconds, however long it needs to be, everyone on the enemy team is basically wanted. Like they have, you know, kind of like the little wanted poster, the bounty thing, right? Wanted, dead or alive, that sort of deal. And every single enemy on the enemy team will then take increased damage for however much percentage or whatever, that sort of deal. And I think that would be really cool I don't really know if it would be appropriate for a damage character to have that. I think that's something more that a tank or a support should have when it comes to like affecting the damage resistance of the enemy team. So those are just some of my ideas. I really think that the ultimate needs to be changed because right now the most effective use of it is to reload, which is just kind of ridiculous. So what kind of ideas do you guys think would be a good replacement or a change for McCree's ult? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. The links for that stuff are down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.